Welcome to Boxing Block Center and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click like and of course the subscriber right now. Let's talk about Don Charles, the the uh trainer of um Daniel Dubois. I don't know if I should call him a trainer of Dubois because it looks like Dubois' dad is actually the trainer. He's just uh, the one working on the pods and maybe the strategist. I would say the strategist of Dubois, not really the trainer, because the trainer is the dad, because Dubois listens to his dad, not the trainer. Anyways, what is going on between Don Charles and Anthony Joshua? Something must have happened we don't know about, but we know the genesis of the story. Many years ago, when Joshua was a teenager, Joshua met Don Charles at a gas station. Joshua approached Don Charles. Joshua was knowing, knowing Don Charles at a gym. You know, he approached Don Charles and said to Don Charles, um, he would love to do the boxing thing. Don Charles happily invited Joshua to his, uh, to a gym to train. And Joshua went there many times training with Don this is what this was before this was before Finchley you know for Finchley boxing and stuff like that for the amateurs uh, era or even even went to the amateurs so Joshua started training in the just gym you know he felt good he felt good do the thing he was powering to Cesara a young you know hungry lion then even still hungry now but it was different Cesara then Cesara was very inexperienced but still was Pushing everything through, you know, pushing through everything. Uh, what happened was, um, one day, Don Charles told Anthony Joshua to not come to his gym anymore. Uh, Joshua was bewildered by Don Charles' reaction, and uh, as um, as a humble guy, Joshua didn't come anymore, and Joshua had to look for a different uh, gym, boxing gym. Many years later, Joshua became um, one of the top amateurs uh, in the box in the British boxing. Uh, went to the Olympics, won a gold medal, became a world champion, became a huge star. Don Charles was still in the shadows, you know, with the Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora is actually his first ever success in boxing, but we know that nobody, no world champion. Was knocking on Joe Charles door to to train him. I mean, I'm talking about elite fighters. Okay. I think Joshua uh, Don Charles feels a certain way about Joshua not coming back after he has asked him to leave because usually coach will tell you you go and then if you insist on coming, they might say, "Oh, this guy is very very like he's very serious about this thing." So maybe he thought Joshua wasn't serious. So it's him seeing Joshua's success. I think made him feel some kind of way because believe you me, Don Char's story is very fascinating, okay? He was born in the sixties in Nigeria, Imo State, you know, during the before the Biafra War. I think he left before the Biafra War or something like that. You know, during the Biafra War the family left. Uh Joshua um Don Charles, you know, um went to England I think to study and stuff like that and uh, without with no hope basically like so he he worked hard you know he's he comes from a a, a mentality a generation of of people that had to go through a lot mentally physically especially going through the immigration system in the in the UK I think that would not be easy for any immigrant you know already we are immig I'm immigrant so I know what I mean I'm talking about um, but eighteen on Anthony Joshua. I don't know if he's, if he's hitting on Joshua, but I think George uh, Don Charles is still hurt. 
Now that, it, now that this fighter, the boy beats J Joshua, um, he himself saw Joshua that night to say, he said, this guy is not the same guy I know. Because he knows Joshua. He knows Joshua. He knows Joshua from day one. I'm talking about Joshua's boxing journey started with Don Charles. So Don Charles has a very a very personal relationship with, with had a, had a personal relationship with Joshua, but but he tried to get closer. It's just it just didn't work. And also, yes, we heard the story that um that um Chizora was the one that told John Don Charles not to allow Joshua to come back to the gym or something like that. But Chizora and Joshua have a tie friends, are friends. Chizora still supports Joshua. So my 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 um um my curiosity is that what actually transpired? Why is it that Don Charles still hasn't forgiven Joshua to this day? The way he speaks, is he hate? Is it jealousy? Is it like remorse? Is what is it? Let's get around here, Tajab. To break it down for us. Tajab, how are you doing, bro? I'm good, man. I'm good, bro. You know, I've I've also wondered the same thing. What occurred under the tutelage of uh, Don Charles and Anthony Joshua? Because let's be honest here, man. Listen, even the first Usyk fight, man, this pains me, bro. AJ was in the ring asking Don Charles what he thinks he should do, right? And I can just never wrap my head around it. At that point, after the fight, when all that came out and all the dust settled, and I heard that, and we seen the video of it, it's like, bro, you weren't even, you weren't even ready, right? You weren't even comfortable with your coach, with your first coach, right? But what occurred, what transpired under the tutelage of Don Charles and him while he was in his career advancement, right? what transpired between the two. It seems like there's, there's bad blood between the two because the way that Don Charles talks about AJ just doesn't seem right. It just seems as if somebody, he wants to see AJ by all means, by all means, seem defeated right because uh, I, I sorry told you there I, I, I sorry told you sorry bro aj is defeated but don charles will never have a father like aj in his life till he died i'm uh, sorry about that but you know i'm a nigerian the guy is nigerian we know how some nigerians are don charles i believe that evil mind you know, when you offend a Nigerian guy, uh, a Nigerian might, might, would hardly forgive you if you a fellow Nigerian offend him than if a foreigner offends him. Let it be like a white man, for example. They will forgive. But when is a fellow, when is a fellow Nigerian, I know what I'm saying. But continue. Major, I don't go far on chat right now. I don't, I don't want to say some things right now as a Nigerian. I, I don't want to say some things right now that people will say, oh, BBC, why are you this? Why? Are you? But I'm saying something because the era in which it came from, bro, continue first. I'm from, I'm from Edo State. I'm from Benin City. We know the history. Continue. Thank you for touching up on that. Believe it or not, I, I don't know if I screenshot it, but there's, there was a group of Ebos that were happy that AJ lost. That fight. And Don Charles is evil. He is. It's, I'm not saying I'm not saying all Ebos are like that because 
I don't think they are. But right now in Nigeria, there is this tribal tension that is going between Igbo. Even we, my tribe, is being attacked by the by the Igbos now. Like some of the Igbos, not all. And uh, I think I I tend to it's fascinating me like how where where did this come from? But I think the problem between Don Charles and Anton Joshua is um is a personal thing. Okay, it's something that a Nigerian would do. If Joshua offended Don Charles, maybe Don Charles was hoping Joshua would sign with him. Joshua didn't. A Nigerian would never forget that. But if he was a white man, he wouldn't say he would forget that. This is what I mean. We are so quick to forgive outsiders, but within ourselves, if you offend me, they you they will have grudge towards you till that kingdom come. This is why I avoid a lot of Nigerians here. A lot. I might just see them and talk. Even a friend I had recently that was Nigerian here, I caught him off immediately when I saw his character. I'm telling you right now. I just do my thing. The only guy that I have that I can that I call upon are just some few Nigerian guys that I've known from day one, basically for a long time. So I know nine years, ten years back. We've also we've did things together. And there are very few number. Like I think about two, three. So, anyways, I don't want to make this, but I know what I'm saying right now. Don Charles did not forgive Joshua for what happened many, many years ago. Because Don Charles is like imagining the wealth Joshua has accumulated. It's like, damn, this guy did this to me and stuff like that. I should have been. I don't know, man. Maybe Joshua would have been a better fighter under Don Charles. Nobody knows. But continue, bro. Hmm. Good question. Good, good, good uh, statements there, bro. Listen, I do believe. Um, listen, it's the same thing as 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 Carl Frotch, Lennox Lewis, Don Charles. About a handful of them. I I don't know. Maybe they thought AJ was gonna excluding Don Charles, excluding Carl Frotch. I don't know if they thought AJ was going to stick with them and take him to the top, maybe that was the issue. I know that was the issue with Lennox Lewis because AJ didn't want to sign with him. He ended up signing with Eddie Hearn. Maybe coaching-wise, Don Charles felt like, hey, maybe AJ should have stuck with him. AJ ended up going somewhere else, right? Maybe that's the issue. AJ's a millionaire now. He should be in there with him. You never know with these things. But I do believe it played a vital role. AJ let all that situation, Don Charles, just from the beginning and get-go. I, I do believe he felt as if Don Charles knew him more than he knows himself. And I always say this don't let them tell you who you are you know who you are don't let somebody's opinion of you become a reality and aj needs to understand what i mean by that because don charles is saying next day on the interview aj looked like he wasn't there from there i knew we had him stop it aj is you manif AJ is manifesting things that he should not be manifesting that is hurting himself. He is manifesting that. People do you shouldn't go into a fight think people know it's reality that you know AJ shouldn't let people's opinion become his reality. Because I feel like he fights he fights with with that a lot. A lot of people's opinion of becoming his reality, like continuously. And Don Charles having history with AJ coming into that fight. AJ probably he knows me, he knows I'm gonna stop it, bro. He needs to freaking work his way out of there and basically develop himself. Don't let them know you. Be of a different character. Simple as that, bro. 
Um, so if you look at the current, um, okay, what okay, Don Charles says now, if he dies, he'll be a happy man because he's basically achieved what is what he said is mine. And but do you think he's even getting the credit he deserves? I don't think he's getting it, bro. Let's keep it right here because he's not getting it. I've, the post fight, like, did it? Did he even speak? Did he? Did, he, did they give him the mic to speak? The post fight interview. Did he, did, he, did he speak? I don't know. I don't know if, if he spoke, but... Bro, bro, he didn't even speak, man. Listen. They, they, in that ring, you're supposed to give thanks to your head trainer, Don Charles. He just said his team. Right? Hey. Yeah. Reason being that you left Shane McQuiggan for... For Don Charles, one reason where it seemed like Don Charles had that it factor for you. I don't know if there's bad blood. I, I don't understand it. But at the end of the day, you're supposed to give thanks where thanks is due. And to me right now, Daniel Dubois is being a fake individual. I think I think he's step. going to he's going to quit again. Don Charles, yes, Don Charles. I think Don Charles, they are going to let Don Charles go at some point. Mm. Donald Dubois' dad, you know, him practicing voodoo and juju and stuff like that, and you know, black magic. I think he's going to bite him in the ass at some point, you know, because if you practice, you cannot mix black magic with Christianity. Like he said, you know, the way he usually say is down the boss dad, no doubt it's very outspoken, you know, he, he talks good. If if Dana Dubois had the the skill set of his dad, how um how friendly, how very outspoken his dad is, I think he would be a big star. But he's not. And he might never be. This is what it is. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I do believe. I do believe. Uh, you know, certain certain situations and certain elements calls for for you know for these types of trainers. And hey, at the end, at the end of the day, Don Charles is who he is at the end of the day, and you know. Maybe we're giving too much respect for Don Charles. Man, there's there's a lot of factors that's going on in this fight game. I, as me as of right now, I'm still on the fence on both of these guys. Mm. You know, I'm still on the fence on both of these guys. Yeah, we'll see. Man. And, it's gonna be interesting yeah. though. So, guys, you're heading from our brother uh, Todd Jagway. Stay tuned for more exclusive bangers right here. We'll be right back. And um, you're still free, right? Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, now I'll catch up with you later, and um, and then we'll talk more about this subject because I do want to go live. It's just that I don't have a good internet to do that. Yeah, I'm using my phone internet now, so life is very hard. Maybe I don't know. Maybe on via phone is different, but with a computer, um, it needs a lot of like um, power and you know, all that. Anyways, I will, I will I will see what happens. Yeah. No problem, bro. No problem. No problem. I will no talk problem. about more who who potentially Joshua would be facing next because I know Eddie Hearn has this idea that Joshua needs to wait till after tw December twenty first. Just relax. I hope Joshua is not just waiting because he needs to go back to the gym and work on the defense or whatever happened that night needs to be fixed immediately the longer you wait the, the the more you forget what you're supposed to do that night so i will see god bless you all cheers